वेलकम दिस इज फ्री टेस्ट सीरीज एनालिसिस ऑफ फिजिक्स एडवांस एंड एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड पेपर दैट इज द पेपर इज कंडक्टेड ऑन सेकेंड मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर सो दिस इज एनालिस आंसर्स ऑफ दिस पेपर दिस इज सेकेंड पेपर इन द टेस्ट सीरीज so uh, i am reading out questions and uh, trying to give answer uh, one more suggestion this is advanced part so some here and there may be there so if you are having any doubt you are having any dispute related with the result here then you can please comment it in the comment box we can check out and if it is true then it is accepted there as a true or some uh, errors are there i will explain there so uh, first consider the following statements and select the correct option given below so one that is first statement a ramjet is a form of air breathing jet engine that uses the vehicle's forward motion to compress incoming air for combustion without a rotating compressor second a scramjet now here s is there a scramjet engine is an improvement over ramjet engine as it efficiently operates at hypersonic speeds and allows supersonic combustion now option a only one is true option b only two is true option c both are true and option d both are false so two statements are given now uh, first statement is true statement and second statement is also true statement as both statements are true our answer is c now this is all uh, we can check out with isro the thing is that these rockets a uh, uh, basic idea is that when rocket is launch it carries uh, that is called as fuel and oxidant now oxidant is also carried because it is going in the space and therefore uh, the weight which that rocket carries that is also having weight of oxygen or rather oxidant but if you use hydrogen as a fuel no no we have to use here liquid hydrogen because gaseous hydrogen is highly explosive so uh, we have to go for uh, that is called as a liquid hydrogen that we have to cool liquid below certain uh, sorry we have to cool that hydrogen below 200 degrees celsius so that it can be converted into a liquid and now uh, that uh, technology that is required here so here uh, we have to use hydrogen as a fuel and oxygen as oxidant now uh, if we are using oxygen that is present in atmosphere that is as an oxidant the obvious thing is that unnecessary weight what we are carrying out for oxidant that is removed and as it is going in upper part then we can use that oxidant but in lower region where density is say particularly first part troposphere we have good amount of oxygen so that can be used so basic purpose of this that is the using atmospheric oxygen for initial launching stages and then onwards we have to use regular oxygen oxidant whatever that uh, now here answer is c second statement sir consider the following statements and add the uh, select the correct options given below option 1 the scramjet engine design by isro uses hydrogen as fuel and oxygen from atmospheric air as on the as the oxidizer yeah this statement is true just now we discuss uh second india is the fourth country to demonstrate the flight uh, the flight testing of a scramjet engine this statement is also true so as a result we have to go option c both are true uh, you can check out this data from official website of isro consider the following statement and select the correct option given below uh, in case of ultrasound sonography ultrasound transducers consist of arrays 
of piezoelectric crystals that produces high frequency sound waves in response to an electrical signal. You are aware of that ultrasound sonography technique where that what probe is there that is called as transducer. It contains this type of crystals. So ultrasound that means sound waves having more frequency than 20,000 hertz. You are aware that if a frequency of sound wave is more than 20,000 hertz or 20 kilohertz, we are calling it ultrasound and if less than 20 hertz, we are calling it as infrasound. Second, piezoelectric crystals are capable of the piezoelectric effect which is the ability of material to generate an electric charge when subjected to pressure. So this statement is also true as both statements are true. Option C is right. So you can check out option uh, question 1, option C, question 2, option C, question 3, option C. But don't uh, hesitate. Maybe possible 5 or 6 answers are also having same thing. Fourth question. Consider the following statement and select the correct option given below. No breeder nuclear reactor is developed in India. Okay. Uh, second, breeder nuclear reactor is a hypothetical concept. None of nation is able to prepare it practically. So answer is that a breeder reactor is not now hypothetical concept. What is the principle of breeder reactor? We are using one fuel, one element that is fissile material as fuel and second material that is generated in that reactor. Say for example uranium-235 is a fissile material but uranium-238 uh, is also present there or rather than that more amount is of uranium-238 only. So uranium-238 will absorb neutron which is used for uh, fission of uranium-235 and then uranium-238 gets converted into uranium-239. Uranium-239 is a beta emitter. You are aware when particle emits beta, its atomic number increases by 1 but mass number remains same. And therefore, you will get idea that uh, as it is beta emitter, it is converted into a next element which is obviously called as transuranide element. That is Neptunium because you are aware naturally occurring last element is uranium only. So, because of beta emission, it is getting converted into next element. So, analogous to that uh, planetary name, they have given them this as Neptunium. Again, Neptunium is beta emitter. So, automatically next element is produced which is Plutonium. So, Plutonium is a fissile material, fortunately or unfortunately, because this is used for making of nuclear bomb now. Uh, anyhow, so this type of reactors, they are called as breeder reactor where one fuel, fissile material is consumed and another material is produced in that reactor. So, uh, no breeder nuclear reactor is developed in India. Answer is at Kalpakkam, Tamil Nadu. Whatever the reactors are there, they are breeder reactor. Uh, they have developed this type of breeder reactor and uh, it is there in India. And obviously this concept is not there in India initially. It is developed in the latter state but earlier that various other nations also have breeder reactor. So first statement is false as well as second first statement is also false. Both statements are false. Therefore answer is D. Delhi. How many statements are true? Optical fiber works on principle of total internal reflection. Yes, this statement is true. Uh, something is like that. Uh, light is there. Because of total internal reflection, light is reflected inside only. Like that, light travels through the fiber. And that's why uh, we can transfer data with very high speed, that is speed of light only. So, first statement is true. Optical fibers may be made up of glass. Yeah. Uh, some special type of glass is there. Fiber we can produce of that glass. So optical fibers are made up of glass. This uh, glass, this statement is also true. Optical fibers are used instead of copper wire for conducting electricity. Not yet this technology is developed. At least I am not aware of this technology that through optical fiber one can carry out electrical current. 
and so third statement is false. Fourth, optical fibers may be made up of plastic polymers also. Yeah, not necessarily that they are always made up of glass. They can be made up of plastic polymer also. So uh, first, second and fourth, these statements are true. Option three, that means uh, three statements are true like the option. So again, answer is C. Sixth question, find a musical instrument which is not fitting in the group. Okay. Piano, harmonium, veena and sita. So two are outsider, two are insider. Means uh, two are not having origin in India and two are having origin in India. So I can't use that. Uh, let us check uh, how piano works. So piano is a string instrument. Uh, I hope uh, in previous paper we discussed this. So piano is a string instrument. Harmonium is working like a flute. So air is blown. You can check that we have to continuously use air pump for that purpose. So harmonium is based on flute like uh, thing. Veena, it's having strings. That means again string instrument. And sitar, it is also having string. So piano, veena and sitar, they are string instrument. Harmonium is not a string instrument. So uh, not fitting in the group is harmonium. Seventh question. Mercury thermometer is not useful in stratosphere. Again connecting to geography. Uh, you are aware that first layer of atmosphere adjoining earth's surface that is troposphere. Then tropopods. Then stratosphere. In case of stratosphere, temperature is very very low. We can consider that temperature in range of minus 100 degrees Celsius and then it increases to 0 degrees Celsius. Okay, uh, try to go through geography, that diagram is also there, graph is also there. So, uh, mercury thermometer is not useful in stratosphere because uh, mercury is having melting point around minus 39 degrees Celsius and stratosphere has less temperature than that. Yes, this is true because a stratosphere temperature can go till minus 100 degree and from minus 100 it increases till 0 degree. So till first 60 degree this temperature, uh, this thermometer will not work. Mercury reacts with glass at minus 20 degree Celsius or less temperature. No, this is false. So only one is correct. Therefore answer is A. Eighth question. Parallax method is used by Number one, to find distance between star and earth. Yes, this is true. We have to consider this way. This is the orbit of earth. If you are observing from side, sun is here somewhere. So nearly we have to consider, not exactly, but right now, uh, so this is not actually this much of ellipse. I am tilting out, therefore showing like this. Okay. So uh, earth takes six months from travel from here to here. We are aware that this is the distance approximately 15 crore kilometer. This is distance approximately 15 crore kilometer. So a measurement of particular star somewhere here that is taken from this point and after six months this point you will get a, find, a triangle. We can find out these angles and with reference to this angle we can find out distance between earth and that particular star. For this purpose some points in the sky we have to fix and that's why certain towers are required. Sometimes very huge tower, very tall towers are also required for accurate calculation. And you are aware why Kutub Minar is built. One of the answer is this. It's a, not a real thing that Kutub Minar is built by Kutubuddin Aibak. No doubt it is written in history. But yet we have doubt. Uh, because if you are going by that structures, then obvious thing is that Kutub Minar is uh, not fitting out in that particular structure as it is shown today. Some different is there, but uh, you study yourself about that Kutub Minar. Because just beside that one temple is there, another iron pillar is there that is called as Vishnu Stamba. And therefore, something is different. And two points you are required to find out a first a important line. So maybe possible this type of pillars and all these uh, tips we required there. 
Anyhow, so parallax method is used for uh, measuring out distance between star and earth. This statement is true. For 3D vision, with two eyes focusing on the same object by layman, yeah, without our knowledge, we are using this technique. Our both eyes are focusing on same object and that's why we are able to get the distance between that object not in terms of meter or centimeter but we have 3d vision because of this so both statements are true so obvious answer is c ninth question which statement is or are true nickel cadmium cell is an example of secondary cell yes nickel cadmium cell you are aware that some pencil cell or something chargeable cells were used in earlier days now largely they are replaced by lithium battery lithium polymer battery etc but once upon time for mobile phone also cell phone also they were using nickel cadmium batteries what is secondary cell a cell which is charged as well as discharge so dry cell is not secondary cell once it is discharged it is discharge we have to throw it but chargeable cell that is called a secondary cell so nickel cadmium battery is example of uh, nickel cadmium cell is example of secondary cell option is true dry cell example is example of primary cell yeah primary cell means used only once when material is exhausted we have to throw it or you have to replace that material but which is too costly and therefore uh, simple thing is that we have to throw that cell so uh, first is true second is also true again answer is c Last statement, why methane, that is major component of CNG, is not liquefied in India at room temperature by compressing it. You are aware, if you are compressor gas, gas can be converted into liquid, like LPG, that is liquefied petroleum gas, mixture of butane and isobutane. But if you compress, then gas is easily converted into liquid. If you release pressure, liquid is easily converted into gas. So, like that, why don't we able to carry out liquefication of methane? Answer, in the residential part of India, temperature never go below minus 70 degrees Celsius. Yeah, it's true. Wherever we are going to stay, layman is going to stay, temperature is not going below minus 70. Huh. Question is different. Suppose you are there on Mount Everest, that is in Nepal and China border, or K2, Technically speaking in India, practically speaking not under control of India yet, may be possible, we don't know what happened next. But right now it is not under control of India. If you are going on Siachen Glacier in winter season, maybe temperature will be less than that. But right now for Lehman staying, uh, Dras, that is name of uh, human habitable village in India, which is the coldest place around minus 55 degrees Celsius temperature is there. So first part is true. Uh, whereas critical point of methane is lower than that temperature. Yeah. What is critical point? Critical point that is the temperature below which uh, or temperature at which gas can be liquefied by applying pressure. Okay. So it is different from its uh, what we are saying condensation or liquefication. We have to make it into liquid, uh, it's different from boiling point. We can convert it into liquid by applying pressure. So somewhere around minus 239 degrees Celsius, minus 239 degrees Celsius and 42 degree, uh, sorry, 42 atmospheric pressure, methane can be converted into liquid. So uh, this is the reason that we are not able to convert methane into liquid. We can compress it, we can compress it thousand times but not convert into liquid. In India, second option, in India we don't have technology to compress gas above 30 atmospheric pressure, false. And for methane compression required around 40 atmospheric pressure to convert it into liquid at around 25 degrees, so not possible. Okay, so second option is false. So only first option that is correct. This is the discussion about this uh, all. Uh, question paper, question paper number two, we discussed that is physics advanced. Uh, all the best for next question paper that is of chemistry. Uh, thanks.